Good each one, I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Prince with Benefits, Chapter 8. The next day, Anya and Kate arrive early. Your mom and Anya will be getting the house ready, and you've promised to go shopping with Katie. So Prince Scott is really coming? Oh, goodness! Mom, this is your sixth time asking this question. This is the Prince! Everything needs to be perfect! So, I take it you and Prince Scott are getting acquainted? How did you know? I just found out yesterday! <laughs> so they are getting acquainted. Oh my god, Emily. I can't believe you're friends with him. Your majesty. Rise. But he never talks to anyone. Really? He seems so nice. Yes, but royals are pretty reserved. They don't interact with us commoners. No one ever disturbs them. It is the bloody Prince of Wales! Oh my god! We have a lot of work to do! Mom, I think let's overhaul this place! This place is nice and cozy as is. The house is already nice and cozy, Mom. Well, it's still missing something. Like what? Like... Chicken! Mom... What chicken? Nothing. We're... Just joking. Really, he's not as pretentious as you think. I mean, he has made friends with me. That's because you're lovely. Of course he wants to be friends. So, is he coming by himself or bringing somebody? I don't know. He didn't say. Please, please bring his brother. You know about his brother? Of course. Everyone knows Prince Mark. Ah, oh, he's super hot, too. I remember hearing about him. He's blonde, right? Yeah, with blue eyes and a very charming smile. You... So, blonde, blue eyes. So, you want to have a twin? <laughs> charming smile, huh? Looks like someone has a crush on him. No, I just think he's sort of hot, that's all. I'm sure that's it. Anyway... We can get you a new outfit for tonight's dinner while shopping. I already have clothes. You have boring clothes. We need to pick out something that will have Prince Scott drooling over you. Come on, I'll help you pick something out. It'll be fun. All right. You girls, make sure you're back before 5 p.m. You and Kate head off to the mall. Kate, it's your birthday. Pick something, it's on me. Are you sure? Thank you. I should also look for something that won't Prince Prince Scott. It's gonna be the best birthday party ever. I'm totally excited. I don't understand why him being at the dinner is such a big deal. I mean, the guy walks around your town for a few weeks every year, and you guys see him all the time. Are you mental? Huh? What? It doesn't matter. This is a prince. How often do you get to meet one? No, maybe two tonight. Your phone rings, and it's Scott. Hi, Scott. Hey, Emily. How are you feeling today? I'm okay, you. Good. I can't wait to meet your mother tonight. She's looking forward to meeting you, too. But just a forewarning, it's gonna be really small. Just... A few of her friends. That's actually better. I'm also bringing one more person over. Just want to give you a heads up. No problem. I'll see you later then. You hang up and notice that Kate's jaw was dropped and she's staring at you with shock. Was that Prince Charming calling you? Yeah. By the way, you may see Prince Martin. I, he said he was... We'll bring someone else also. Oh... What if he brings a girl to our first date? Oh wait, no, it's not a date, just a regular dinner. What the hell is wrong with me? Emily, you need to erase the damned word from your vocabulary. Hello, Earth to Emily, let's go! Oh, okay, remind me later, before we're done shopping, I need to bring something giant home. Like what? Like a Persian rug or a renaissance statue? Emily... Don't tell me you're being serious. 
Well, yes and no. I don't understand. I'm putting everything on my father's credit card. I want to bankrupt him. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I like your innocent yet evil mind. I'm all in. I think I'd design a purse for a few million pounds. A few hours later. Okay, I got diamond yarn linen, silk sweater from Brunello Cuccellini, a Gina Foster hat, and a Leishman boots. What did you get? Well, I got two skirts. One is Catherine Hooker, and the other is Catherine Walker. Also an L.K. Bennett sandals, and a nice Louisa Spagnoli jacket for my mom. Oh, they are super cute Emily shoes. Honey, uh, those are great shoes for weddings. We'll come back for this one, I promise. Okay. Alright, I think I've splurged enough. Let's go home. Good luck, Daddy. Shopping with Kay really brought you two closer together. You're excited about tonight. Who will Scott bring? Emily, everyone is going to be here soon. Are you almost ready, love? You let out a panicked little laugh. Am I ready? <laughs> yes. It's just dinner, not a date. I should wear something different, though, because, well, it never hurts to impress. I'll be down in a couple minutes, Mom. You said that five minutes ago. I meant it five minutes ago, but I changed my mind about five times. Throw on a sack. It's not going to matter, honey. Just hurry. Didn't you make such a big deal about meeting a prince, and now it's throw on a sack? I thought you wanted me to make an impression. But all right. Get your game face on, lady. This doesn't mean anything, and nothing you wear will matter. You open your closet and sort through the bags from today's shopping expedition. They are literally... Okay, okay, please don't do this. You were fine up until now. Don't do this. You literally own these outfits. Or the outfit you bought at the mall. Diamonds! <laughs> Pick something new and exciting to wear. I like it, it's kind of Poison Ivy-esque. I don't want him to think that I care too much. That is super bland, I'm not gonna lie. That one's pretty, like I said, Poison Ivy. We'll go with that one, I guess. Besides, he's bringing someone, isn't he? Oh my god, it's driving me crazy. Who the hell is he bringing? I mean, it's not even important, but... That's the message I'm sending by not changing clothes. You literally changed clothes. Kate joins you, and you're giving yourself some last touch-ups when the doorbell rings. Oh no, they're here. Girls, stop panicking and open the door, please! It's your house, Emily. Don't look at me like that. Oh, for God's sake! I'll open the door, just come downstairs and greet our guests! Kate rushes down the stairs. What do I do? I race down to see who Scott bring brought to the dinner. I just follow Kate. You finish making yourself up and slowly follow after Kate. Everyone turns and looks at you as you glide effortlessly down the steps. When the door opens, you see Scott and an older-looking man next, standing next to him. Oh, thank God he didn't bring a girl. Wait, what am I really for? Hi, Emily. Thank you for having us. Allow me to introduce you to Sean, my good friend and bodyguard. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, miss. Oh, God, Ronaldo! Quickly, kill him! <laughs> I've heard quite a lot about you. Oh, you have? So much. Really? How come? Make fun of... Ask for more. Oh, really, Sean? Please do tell me more. Well, just this morning he spent... Scott elbows Sean out of the way and gives him a wide smile. What he meant to say is that I was telling him that you've become a proficient writer. That surprised me as much as anyone, considering I've never sat on a horse before. Don't worry, Sean, we'll catch up late a little later. You give him a wink and link arms with Scott. Oh, please, come inside. 
a lovely house. It's kind of quaint, comfy. We'll go with that. It's a, it just seems like also a little... Well, you know, I can't really complain. Yeah. I mean, I would say... With... We have, what? Six people in this house? It seems a little... Tight now, but that's just from the picture's perspective. Let's get you both introduced. Your grin is wide as you escort the two men over to your mom. Mom, please allow me to introduce you to Prince Scott Alexander. Something, something, his royal highness. <laughs> something, something. I've already forgot the other stuff, and his bodyguard, Sean, who is his guest this evening. Your mother is wavering between the mortification and amusement. Gentlemen, this is my mother, Sophia. Thank you for having us, Miss... Uh, please, call me Sophie. As long as you call me Scott. Scott, this is Kate. She's the birthday girl and also her mother, Anya. Your Highness. Uh, hi, Your Highness. <laughs> We've met. Pleasure to meet you again, Kate. Happy birthday. She's a little shy. And disappointed. Did I do something wrong? No, no. Everyone's just... afraid of angering royalty. Laughter breaks out throughout the group, and you breathe a sigh of relief. All the tension and awkwardness are gone. So, Scott, Emily says that you met each other the other day? Yes. That was a coincidence. I was just out running. The weather was horrible. It wasn't horrible. Just the usual cold, wet English. <laughs> Either way, it wasn't proper to go running in the first place. Actually, Scott rarely goes running in this weather. I swear I've never seen him so active while we're here. Has he been going out looking for me? Scott starts shifting in a seat uncomfortably and staring down at the ground. All of a sudden, you have a weird feeling. Dots are connecting. No way he can find you, sighing in the middle of nowhere. Yesterday's meeting couldn't have been a coincidence. Is he stalking me? That's creepy. No, it's not. That's actually kind of romantic. He was hoping to run into you. Well, I need to help Anya and Kate finish up dinner in the kitchen. If you'll excuse me. Can I help in the kitchen? Sure. Great. Now everybody is running to the kitchen, leaving you and Scott alone very cozy. So, you brought your body bodyguard as your guest. <laughs> you like Sean, right? Um, yeah, well, no. About Sean... Should I find out why Scott's stalking me? No, it's awkward. Maybe it's just your illusion again. Ah, uh, never mind. Dinner is served. The awkward mood is broken. Wow, the food looks amazing and smells wonderful. I may just need to come back again just to eat more delicious meals here. But I guess that would depend on how long Emily is staying in England. As of right now, I'll be staying indefinitely. Really, sweetie? Oh, that makes me so happy. I really love having you here. That's why you looked mortified for a moment. <laughs> God damn it, my daughter! My grown daughter is moving in! Actually, Emily, I was telling Anya today that I have a duplex for rent in London. I'd be happy to let you live there, I called it. And Kate wants to move to London, too, so you guys could share it. Thanks, Mom, but are you sure? I mean, I just got you back. It's not like you're halfway across the world. Your phone rings, and you step away from the table to check it. It's probably your father. Oh, look at that! Why did you spend ten million dollars on a purse? It's my dad calling. Ignore it. He's either angry that you're spending so much money, or worried because you haven't called. You might have gone overboard buying stuff for you and your mom, which we couldn't even wear, because this game is for just... Mm, so many words, I want to leave my mouth right now. But you are still angry at him, so you press the ignore icon. Aren't you going to answer that? No. I'll call them back later. No punishment is enough for what your father did, but spending a lot of his money is a start. You remain standing to calm yourself for a bit before returning. Hey, is everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. Um, sorry, Emily. 
Sorry for what? I'm sorry that while you were away, your mother told us about your embarrassing stories. <laughs> My ammo is loaded. Uh, what kind of embarrassing things did she tell you? I can't guess because there are too many to choose from. Hey, a lot of children wear headgear for with their braces. Nothing to be ashamed about. <sighs> are you snickering at my headgear? <laughs> Did you see the word gasp out loud? When we went shopping today, I discovered that our dear girl has all si sorts of quirky tics. They're rather endearing. And that's good news. I suppose considering you're going to have to live with them. I think I'll manage. The rest of the dinner is entertaining, with everyone laughing and enjoying themselves. Kate and Anya announce that it's time to head out, so you start wrapping things up. It was a lovely birthday dinner. Thank you, everyone, for making it so memorable. You hug your new friend and promise that you'll get together soon to plan out the move to London. You turn back to find Sean speaking with your mother. Thank you for the lovely dinner, Sophia. You are very welcome to return soon. Sean gazes at your mom for a second too long, and your mom's cheeks tend pink. Interesting. Thank you for inviting me, Emily. Of course. Let me see you out. You walk Scott out to the front door. What a lovely night. I haven't relaxed like this in a while. How should I pay back? Well, I'll add it on your debt, and you can pay me back slowly. Any way I can start paying tonight? Hmm, maybe you can finish teaching me how to ride. You know, I um, I hate to intrude here, but he was talking to his gentlemanly uh, bodyguard about how you were riding earlier. I'm just saying... <laughs> <clears throat> well, then let's go. You can stay over if it's late, and we have a few guest rooms available. What? Seriously? Why not? Should I ask my mom before saying yes? No! You were a grown girl! Yes, let's do it. Look at me being adventurous. Excellent. He snickers and you give him a playful punch on the arm. Hey now, don't make me regret this. Oh, I guess I'm all ready to go. Will you end up staying the night? Find out in Chapter 9. So I have to say I really enjoy this. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry it's been a few days since I've come out with a new chapter for this, so I do apologize. I'm working overtime on trying to catch up so much content. If you've looked at my channel, we have done 19 videos in the last two days. Yeah. Or no, not two days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seven days. This will be uh, the 20th video, actually. No, that was this morning. So this will actually be the 21st. Sorry. All the videos today will basically be the seventh day. Um, then on um, Wednesday starts the whole new week. That's basically how I look at it, is when Wednesday hits, all the new choices and chapters and all that hits, so I try and, and go from that day forward. So with that being said, please check out the other content on the channel. It's quite varying. There is South Park, Animal Crossing, um, the new... Um, Kingdom game, there is a bunch of uh, chapters, uh, choices, and so, so much more. And look forward to getting even more done. So with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section below. If you genuinely did, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already, because you'll miss out on great content. Or feel free to hit that share button. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace!